hey hello and welcome once again to my youtube channel this is reflex image if this is your first time visiting don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and also turn on the notification icon if you're already a subscriber welcome back in today's video i'll be showing you how i came about this manipulation though most of the thing you're seeing here is already in the initial picture so here's what the picture looked like before you can see the 20 balloon is still there the white fabric is still there but I love to actually spice up my work, make it look more lively. And I'll be showing you how to actually place overlays in pictures in less than three to four minutes to entice to make your picture look very, very nice. So, and you all know when it comes to nice manipulation, when it comes to nice backgrounds, I'm your guy. So I just decided to use something simple here. Yeah? Don't mind my color, my green and white. I'm a good citizen of Nigeria, so I love to, I love to show that in whatever I do so in today's video let's let me walk you through now i actually add this background very very easy and straightforward so the first thing here's what the picture looked like before the first thing you need to do is to retouch a picture you can see i did my retouching already is what my picture looks like after my retouching though it's not high end retouching just retouch a little bit so the next thing you do after your retouching is to do what is to expand your picture to the area you want it to be so let me just crop mine I want mine to be on my 4x5. Well, you can see when I took it to my 4x5, it's already cropping on my footer shadow, my footer area, sorry. And and I want the footer area to be there. All I just need to do right now, just to drag from the bottom, also drag from the top. You can see right now, I'll click on my OK. But once I'm done with that, as you can see, there, there are yellowish area over here. So don't worry, we're going to fill that up. I'll show you how I do fill my background up. And if anybody is to see that, he's going to think, he or she is going to think that's the way the backdrop is. So let's go back to this area where I've actually retouched. So forget about this. This is just formality. As you can see, we are still in our background layer. The next thing you need to do right now, after you expand from the both sides, to so do what? Duplicate your background layer again by clicking on Ctrl or Command J if you're using a MacBook. Once you're done with that, just select your subject. You all know the tools you need to select your subject. You can use a quick selection tool. You can use a polygonal laser tool, you can use a laser tool, you can use your mag magnetic tool, depending on the one that you use best. But I already made my selection, I've saved my selection because I've worked on a picture before. I'm just working through it for you guys again. So I'll bring back my selection from where I saved it from. You can see. Here's my selection. Now, these are the area I want to be in the picture. Even after bringing new backgrounds, these are the area I want. To still be in the picture as you can see i selected the balloon and i selected the white fabric i want the white fabric to be in my picture even though i'm done with the manipulation so the next thing i just need to do right now is just to right click on it i'm going to feather it by two i'm going to don't forget we are selecting so we have to be on one of the selections so either your polygonal or your laser tool then i'm going to right click on it i'll go to my feather i'm going to be using my two pixel as my radius i'll click on my ok then i'm going to click on my max icon which i have over here after doing that, the next thing I just need to do is to go back to my background layer again and duplicate it once more. Then I will hold down my control key, click on the max which you just created right now. Click on the max. It's going to bring back the selection for you. After it does, just go to your select, under select, go down to modify, expand, make sure you expand it by 8 pixel or above. But let's not be more than 10 pixel the maximum. Click on your OK. Then go to your rectangle marker 2, which is right over here. Then select the area where you want to clean up. You want this background to fill it up for you. So let me select this area also. Let me select this stand. I want to select this area also. Let me select this wires also. You can see right now. All you just need to do right now is just to right click on the picture. Go to fill. Make sure your content away is turned on. If it's not, just open it up and click on it. Over adaptation must be on. Your blending mode is normal. Opacity has to be at 100%. Preserve transparency on check. Then you click on OK. Then you wait for what the AI is going to do for you. It's going to fill this area up with the initial backdrop. The fun thing about it is that even the shadows that are still in the picture will still be there. It will not mess with your shadows at all. And someone who did not see where you are doing this might think this is how wide your studio backdrop is. And that's the beauty of manipulation. Manipulating picture that someone will be doubting if the picture is being manipulated. Or that's the actual way you took. The picture let's wait and see what is actually going to give to us right now and boom look at what it did for us ctrl d to deselect 
it fills that area up with what with the backdrop which you actually just do what which you use in the picture and no if you are not to tell anybody nobody is going to know this is an extension they might think these are your still backdrop it so you all know the next step is for which you actually do what smoothing the backdrop but what if you don't want to smoothen the backdrop you can just go and bring in some overlays my backdrop is already clean i'm using a seamless backdrop want to know how i smoothen my backdrop watch my other previous video they are very very easy and straightforward to actually do there's no special techniques there very very simple to do but to skip that process for now because we don't need that so i'll just go to my file manager and pick my overlay where it's located so i have tons of them i have tons of them so i'll be picking the one i want to use in today's video want to know how i get them my video course is available so in case you're interested in getting any of my picture editing file from my overlays down to my color lookup which is my lot file so you just have to scroll down to your video so under the comment this is my description so it's not going to load the description for you you just have to click on show more click on it so it's going to show all the options once it does that just click on my store link so here's my store link once you click on it it's going to take you directly to my store so you can actually select any file you want from the color lookup this is a light skin lots this is a feather which i use in my recent video this is 100 premium baby overlays this is my fourth video course this video course entails on how to download all the files i want the site i use in downloading all my files free of charge including my photoshop panels also this includes my png files this includes all my packs all my picture editing files my premium overlay my png my flying fabric my color lookup my preset so once you buy this you've already bought everything apart from this one so here is my flying fabrics here is my in case you want to give me any project for me to work on here is my color lookup here is my background overlay and here is my preset file so in case you're interested in buying anyone you can actually go for them the good news there is that you can actually buy your own currency any currency of your choice you can buy with any currency of your choice for sale on my store and also if you want to get my overlays my png my lot file etc they are available to sell in my store you can just go there and purchase them today and it's going to help you improve what your picture editing skills so let me see let me see where my valleys my valley this is the one i'll be using right now i have to drag it down to my photoshop i will expand it i will expand it this is where you guys need to pay the most attention when it comes to manipulation it's not just about bringing in a valley it's not about having one thousand of valley having two thousand of valley it's actually actually make use of them so we call something object placement right now so let me place this on right now and let's let me show you something real quick now the valley is actually lapping very well on the footer area it's looking very very nice as if this way it's supposed to be we're going to check at the back in massive words our number two is actually standing on there so what you need to do right now is to control t on the background you're just bringing right now and in take it up again so that the this area is going to be at the back it is seems as if it's actually there let me place it back now you see what i'm talking about as you can see this is actually standing on the floor so i'm to change the blend mode now from normal to soft light you going to seem as if this balloon is actually relaxing on the curtain so let's do that right now by changing from normal bring it down to soft light and boom you can see the shadow did what actually make it as seems uh the balloon is relaxing on the wall and that's the beauty of manipulation the next thing i'll be doing right now is just to Go to my filter. I'm going to blow out the backdrop a little bit. Go to blow, click on my Gaussian blow. I think I'll be using about 11 pixels as my radius. And boom. Look at what you just did. We just bring in just a single valley. Here's the before and here's the after of our valley right now. So, even though someone did not see why you are doing this, someone might think these are your studio backdrop is. That's the goal of manipulation. Confuse your enemy once in a while. Don't let them know where you're coming from or where you're heading to. So that being said right now the next thing you just need to do is to collaborate your picture and as you all know i don't like stressing myself that's where i have my files for my collaborating my overlay my png sorry my lot file which i easily collaborate in my pictures so to do that right now i'm collaborating everything all together i don't want to take much of your time i just click on my uppermost layer which is my background layer go to my adjustment layer i click on my color lookup i'm going to open it up i'm going to click on my mela chocolate first chocolate and boom what this does for us is it creates a low light image if you actually want to create a low light image i think this is the best file for you but if it's too much you're liking 
probably the person you are using for the light skin come down to the opacity decrease it you see fit intercept is okay for me then i'll use my spinal lot which is the one i'm using balancing my subject skin just go back to my adjustment layer again click on my color lookup click on the 3d lot and i'm going to scroll down to near brown and boom and we're done with our picture looking very very sleek nice at the same time with this right now i've created a very very simple view backdrop if not i'm talking this is not taking more than three to four five minutes with this video now you should be able to create nice manipulations and i'll be dropping this cutting file for you guys to download for free the lot is available for sale on my store and also join my telegram group to the day to get access to all these files they will be on my telegram group including some raw materials for you guys to practice it so if you find this video very very educating one way or the other don't forget to like share with friends if you have a question or you want to actually comment the video drop a comment down in the comment section below and i will get back to you as soon as possible see you guys in my next video reflex out